Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy is Popeye, and we're the RC Sailors. Today we are bringing to you in this video an unboxing and build of the Hobby King uh, Cherokee Hall Glider. Hall I thought Hall Cherokee, Cherokee Glider. glider. <laughs> This is a 1700 millimeter glider that's five feet, almost seven inches, so it's a pretty good wingspan. And it's got an EDF uh, fan on the top, as well as the ability to be towed by another plane with a tow hook. So, uh, new things with this plane to hit the channel. I'm really excited to get it in the air, and I think, Abby, you'll be able to fly this one just fine. Sweet. In fact, when we do tow it, you're going to have to fly one of the planes. So <laughs> this has a 30 amp ESC. It's a brushless ESC. The only thing you really need is a uh, battery, whether you're flying with the EDF fan or not, because you'll still need to power your uh, elevator and rudder. You'll need a, a receiver for your favorite transmitter, and you'll need a transmitter. That's, that's about it. All right, well, this is packaged pretty nicely. Look at that. Nice red stripe. I like that. It's nice. Pull this stuff out of here. All the servos are pre-installed, and this is about a hundred dollars, a hundred bucks. All the parts, and I mean basically everything you can think of, are listed on Hobby King as well for this, which is really nice. So you know, if things things break, and if anything ever breaks on this, then you can easily repair it by getting replacement parts. Oh, I like how the uh, servos are installed on this. It's got a little plastic, um, cover. Like a, yeah, make it a little more aerodynamic, and it'll protect them on landings and crashes. Which, and crashes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the cool thing. This is the EDF power source. Now, the the really neat thing about this is is that you don't have to actually fly with this even on. It's completely removable very easily, which is super nice because if you want to glide, you know that's a lot of extra weight that you could benefit from not having if you just want to tow and glide. So that's really cool. Really, really cool. I nice like wheel. the flag on the back of it. I do too. It's neat. It does look cool. And just the plain white elevator. Yeah, cool. Looks like you got a Y harness, a wrench, some stickers. Stickers? Yeah. So maybe that's for the something. tail. It looks like a Possibly. There's nothing else in here. So that's everything that comes in the box. This little piece is what supports both wings. It'll go, both wings will kind of hug onto that. Neat. Yeah. So that kind of holds the wings, the wing together. Velcro. Instructions. Instructions. Yeah. Let's take a quick look. Someone, someone told me one time I didn't uh, take a look at the instructions and they said, I wanted to know if they were, you know, good instructions or bad instructions. So. This thing, it's Hobby King, so they're probably going to be really good. They're not going to be broken. Well, you've got to put this together so we can come back Yeah. at the end and tell you. Yeah. Uh, it was, you know what it was? It was the Hobby King um, Skymaster oh. I did, and I didn't even talk about the instructions. Jeez, and they said, hey, I wanted to know about those. Well, they did a good job because they helped me get it together. They're really yeah. nice. Instructions are good. If Nate completes the build, that means the instructions were good. <laughs> They're in color, they're printed in what looks like a 3D on, on the computer mm -hmm. kind of a thing. And it, full color, 100% English, so that's nice. It suggests the uh, the Tundra uh, to be a tow plane. Yes, that's, cool. a nice, that's a nice plane. So we'll have to play around with this. This is going to be a lot of fun. In just a minute here, at the end of the video, we'll show you guys this plane put together. And if I had any problems or pros or cons to talk about, I'll mention them. And uh, we'll see you in just a minute. Here we are, Popeye jumped up to, to join me to let you guys know that this was a very, very easy build. Um, I did wait until another day to do this because I wasn't sure how easy it was going to be and I just didn't feel like taking on the project right after we unboxed it, but I should have because it probably took me 10 minutes or less. The Hall Cherokee Glider, there it is, actually full frame, surprisingly, uh, is, is pretty large. It looks good, all, put, all pieced together and I uh, really have uh, no complaints about the build itself. I'm really excited to get it out and fly. Um, there was no glue required. In fact, the only thing that I needed to put this together were a couple screwdrivers. You don't need long, narrow shaft screwdrivers, just a couple uh, Phillips screwdrivers. Tail is held on with two longer screws that comes with it. 
The main wing is held on with a small screw that's mounted underneath the EDF motor. Now you don't have to run the EDF motor, that's the beauty of this plane. It does come with it, and uh, if you choose to take it off, there's this small piece of foam that's held on with a tab and a magnet so it doesn't hurt your aerodynamics, and you can just have this set up as a straight up tow glider. That way you drop the weight of the uh, motor, the little fan itself in here, the props, all the plastic gear, this whole foam stuff at the top, and some of the wiring inside. So you can save yourself a lot of a lot of weight if you take that off. But I'm I'm not gonna have this set up as a tow, I'm gonna fly it just like it is. The instructions are printed in color and they're 100 percent English and extremely easy to understand. I did this entirely on my own. You don't need a second set of hands to uh, really do anything for you so one single person could slap this together in about 10 minutes and get it in the air uh, quicker than your battery can charge and that's pretty awesome in my opinion so I think that tomorrow we're gonna try to take this out and get it in the air and have a little fun with it fly it around see how it does under power and then I would expect that sometime I don't know when uh, we will get some planes out and fly this as a tow glider in the future probably one of the top three easiest to build planes in my opinion and it's a four channel well it's really a five channel because of the tow glider aspect but it's a four channel flying plane and uh, i'm just i'm ready to get this in the air I'm, I'm pretty excited because this is this is our first edf plane to hit the channel i had one as a kid but never anything this big and hopefully this has some power to get it in the air thanks a lot for watching we'll see you in the next video